Delhiites, brace yourselves. This July, the capital might just make it rain on purpose. That's right. India's most polluted metro is turning to cloud seeding to battle its toxic air. And it's the first time ever that this is being done in Delhi. But the real question is, does artificial rain even work? Or is it just a 3.2 crore rupee weather experiment? Let's go ahead and find out. Between July 4th and July 11th, 2025, aircrafts will fly over Rohini and Bhavana and other hotspots in Northwest Delhi. What is their mission? Spray silver iodide and salt into the clouds and make it rain. Each flight lasts about 90 minutes, covering about 100 square kilometers. The operation is backed by IIT Kanpur, IMD and DGCA. All clearances are in place. What is Delhi's goal? One burst of rain to wash out particulate matter and give the city some air to breathe. Why is it being done now though? That is the question. Delhi's AQI hit a shocking 500 plus after Diwali last year. Children were indoors, flights got grounded, hospitals were overwhelmed. It wasn't actually just a smog. It was a huge crisis. IIT Kanpur had proposed cloud seeding way back in 2018. But bureaucracy, weather and budget delays held it back. Now, with 3.2 crores which have been sanctioned and IMD confirming seedable clouds, Delhi's artificial rain experiment is finally ready for takeoff. This isn't magic, it's actually science. Cloud seeding was first done in 1946 by General Electric scientists. Here's how it actually works. If clouds already have enough moisture, silver iodide or salt particles help water droplets form and fall as rain. But it's always not guaranteed. Studies show only a 5 to 15% boost in rainfall and sometimes it's actually zero. In the UAE, seeding actually worked, but caused salt buildup that worsened local pollution. In China, it cleared skies but redirected the rainfall. What about India? India has done this before, but never in Delhi and that too for only pollution. Maharashtra tried this in 2019, 18% more rain in a seeded monsoon cloud. The next was Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. They both used cloud seeding to fight droughts. Rajasthan attempted during Udaipur's dry spell. But Delhi's use is very different. It's actually not to grow crops, it's to clean the air. And this kind of deployment in a dense urban setting is unprecedented. What experts are saying about this entire experiment is this. Top researchers are calling this a tech demo, not actually a solution. Because even if it works, rain clears air only for a day or two. And there are concerns. And these are actually far more than what the solution might bring. The concerns are too little rain, no impact. Too much, which will cause water logging and chemical residue. Repeated use, what will that do? Silver iodide buildup in soil and water. And let's not forget, artificial rain doesn't reduce emissions. So, it just actually pushes the problem back a few days. What is the best case scenario? It is that it rains and AQI drops. We get clean air and clean data. What is the worst case? It doesn't work. But, most importantly, we learn. And for once, Delhi has led an experiment which is actually worth doing. Cloud seeding isn't actually the long-term fix. The long-term fix actually calls for cleaner fuels, better public transport, crop burn bans, and finally, no clouding as far as the policy making goes, no pun intended. But for a city which is gasping for breath, a little artificial rain might just be the right break that it needs. Delhi is finally seeding the skies. Let's hope it brings more than just rain. This is Front Page by AIM TV. 
like share and subscribe and always remember think ai think ai am